good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy March, happy March to all of you. So great to see all your amazing smiling faces today. And we have such a great speaker for you. So sorry, I'm a little dressed. I've got a cancer event to go to for the company later this afternoon. So um, I'm excited about that. But I just want to say welcome to everybody. Um, it's the final four and I'm excited about Jen Vesiker and all that she's going to share. I have to say for those of you who directors who were on last night, Oh my gosh, Cindy Gress, unbelievable. And then Stephanie Coker. We had over 400, we had 400 people on last night. It was insaneness. And uh, for those of you who are on, I'm sure you are all like, yeah, put any comments you want in the chat section. That was insane last night. And what I do know as of the count between the two events and what's coming later, we've had over 47 new team members in 24 hours. I mean, it was literally the most craziest thing I think I have ever seen last night. It was epic. Um, yeah, make it 48. Thanks, April. I hadn't gotten your count. So, yeah, it was literally when we went hit over 300, I mean, my phone was blowing up. It was just crazy. So I hope that you guys are on some of these things. It really does help your consultants connect. And what I have found through these things also, too, um, you know, it's just all about um, being together. And I think that's great. And if our, my story is not your story, somebody's story. But I also want to see B Mills Legos on here this morning with us also too. B, would you like to share some welcome something? Would you like to share something? I don't want to miss you. So say something. I co-hosted you. <laughs> Are you? Uh, thank you so much. I was just going to be the great observer this morning. And um, I just appreciate you so much and welcome all the directors that we know we're going to have a great program we're going to be just so uh, inspired and uh, full of initiative and excitement and just I think we're going to double up what we would have normally done so good job to be on and invest your time and here's to the final four I love the final four it's such an exciting time in the Mary Kay year back to you all right thanks me yeah it is the final four and so I'm, I have some questions to ask all of you before I turn this over to Jen this morning okay so where are you currently right now for the court of sharing and the court of sales and your unit club. I know that you know what to do. And you know, divide and conquer. What do you need to do these next four months? And don't be like that term paper girl who's gonna do it all in June. That makes that makes everybody crazy. How many of you had kids like that? I had one like that and one not like that. So, you know, just, I can just say that the best thing that you can do for yourself is to figure out, hey, I have this many in and this is what I have to go and then push. You know, they always say God honors the chase. So I just wanna say, where are you for that? Um, for all of you guys this month, I hope that you're all reaching your star bonus. I don't want you to miss your star bonus. That's March 15th, and you cannot do on-hold orders anymore. You know they took that away, so on-hold is not there. Um, so your star bonus, your star cut off. And then I do want to ask one other question. What are you specifically doing to move people into red jackets? Are you talking about it? Are you sending things in the mail? We had a little fun thing yesterday with my directors. We have a Thursday director, kind of a chat and chew or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, they talk, They got a, we're getting a red flash drop to send out to, to some of the red jackets. So we're going to put red music on there and some red things. And so I just want to say that, you know, collaboration is really great. Some great ideas from that. You can get cute little flash drives are all red and you can get a package of like 23 on Amazon. They're really inexpensive. So I just appreciate all the collaboration from all of you. Uh, but it is the final four. It's when everybody kicks into gear. March, April, May, and June, so here we go. Um, the only two things that I want to do before we have Jen take it over, because I know she's got a great program, and it's been great to get to know her also, too, is just a, a couple of things, and I know you all know this, but we've got the Rockin' Recognition, and you have to just kind of devour this. It's April 23rd and 24th. It, this is a place of career conference. This is what it's called, Rockin' Red Rally, and so, you know, make sure that you are on top of this. Register by March 17th. Um, also, too, on that. And then, of course, you're paying attention to all the Wednesdays. And, you know, whether you are getting personal recognition on these Wednesdays, I hope that you're getting your people on these. I know that a lot of our directors are doing something like if you attend six virtual events in a month or you attend something, um, any of those things are really great. So I know that you are all on top of that. Well, I know that we have a great program plan for you this morning. It's been really get, uh, great to get to know Jen Bessaker. And I love it that she's not just a text girl because we've actually been talking 
And that's the great thing about this. And so that'd be another question. How many phone calls are you actually making and having that communication? So Jen, I did co-host you, but I do want to, um, we're gonna do a couple of things um, this morning, but I just wanna give you her accolades. Um, Executive Senior Sales Director, she is married to her wonderful husband, Eric. And they have four children, Andrew, 34, Ashley, 32, Ryan, 28, and Bella, nine. I'm like, oh, okay. She is a proud grandma to her three-year-old grandson, Cooper, um, granddaughter, Ellie, two-year-old, and Charlotte, three weeks old, uh, grandson, Liam. She started her Mary Kay business back in 2003 while working 50 plus hours a week at a law firm. And she earned her first car and only her first three months and then became a sales director four short months later. And you probably were still working that job, or maybe you just said, I'm done. Jen has earned nine career cars, eight of which have been the trophy on wheels, the pink Cadillac. Jen and her unit have been members of the Circle of Achievement two times and the Circle of Excellence 15 times. She and her unit has the highest accomplishment crossing the line, the million dollar Circle of Excellence. She has earned 15 all expense paid trips. She has been a triple court winner. That means she's got those beautiful necklaces. She's been a triple court winner and ranked in the top 20 for sharing. Her highest monthly income is over 30,000. She's a Miss Go Give winner also for the entire Sapphire division. So um, we might just put you on, I think it's best to put you on screen. So uh, please give it up for Jen Vesiker and we're gonna do a little question and answer first. So first off, Jen, well, I'd love to see your face on here. Just jump on real quickly. I know you're here. Um, I saw you there and I co-hosted you. So you should be able to just go ahead and speak. Okay, I'm here. I just unmuted myself. Can you see me? I, we can see you. So I, I, uh, we're going to go take you back. We talked about this. So take me back to a year ago. And what did your unit activity and your personal business look like? And then talk about your pivot, your COVID, any, everything we talked about. I'm sure you took lots of notes. So I'm just going to turn it over to you. So just go, girl. <laughs> You're so cute. Well, first, thank you for the honor and the privilege of being here this morning. This it just fills up my cup so much to be able to share um, in, and to bless you all. And I really, my hope and prayer is that you hear something today that helps you think a new thought, that you will then pivot and do something differently to really change where you are. So a year ago, where like we all were, we found out that we were not in control of life as much as we thought, right? We were all pretty much told we can't go out, can't go places, COVID was happening and it um, scared me as well as I know it did you for so many reasons, but let's talk Mary Kay. So I had just bought a big, beautiful home. And um, so financially, I had took on a lot more responsibility with my Mary Kay business. And this hit like literally within months of us buying this home. And I was scared. I, I literally was scared. For the first time in my life, I felt like I had taken my Mary Kay business for granted because, you know, we didn't know for a while if our factory plants were going to be open. Like, do you remember that feeling back then? Think back a year ago when we were all on pins and needles. Like, is our, if our factory gets shut down and we have no product to sell, we have no paycheck. Do you guys remember that moment of a couple of weeks of just that fear in your heart? So I, at that moment, just looked at my Mary Kay business and I thought, oh my heavens. I have been taking my personal Mary Kay business for granted. Never my unit, y'all. I'm a top director, done 15 trips. I, I learned early on in my career how to build a million dollar machine that runs itself. That's for a whole nother training, but I had a great business that I took for granted my personal work. And what that means is that um, I felt like being a top director and doing director things and leading a unit to do big things was what God called me for. And I, I missed the part of where God has bigger plans for me. And that involves blessing people personally through my business that I had once done. Y'all, I, yes, I've done the quota sharing, but for many, many years I had not. And I, you know, I could be a star because of customer reorder, you know, you can go on and on and on. So I, it made me look at my business and go, oh my gosh, I might lose my personal work. I might lose my, my Mary Kay. I might not have a paycheck. So I, I cried like I'm sure we all did. And then I got to work much like you all did. I had never worked my business virtually. If you're a friend of mine on Facebook, it's for my grandkids, my family. It's not for my Mary Kay. I have Instagram, but don't really post anything there. And, and I was like a fish out of water. So doing virtual was definitely not my thing, but I jumped in like we all did. 
And I started trying to do what everybody else in the Mary Kay world was doing. I was trying everything. And so for the first, that was in March, March through um, July, what I was doing was really creating a lot of Zoom events, events, a lot of, I was doing three to five unit personal events together. You know what I'm talking about? Like I would do, you know, unit makeovers. I would throw everything out there between Zoom and Facebook Live. I was just doing everything, trying to get my unit excited to invite people. And I would try to fit my own guests in. And when I say I was working hard, y'all, I mean, I was working hard seven days a week and we shut down seminar and we still did great. We did 750, but there's a pivotal turn that happened for me. It was August 1st. And I remember waking up and feeling exhausted. Like, like I had a conversation with my husband. This is a really important conversation. I said to him, I was like, Eric, something's not right. Like, like literally I am working hard and I've ever worked before in my life and I don't mind working hard, but I'm not getting the results I know I should get. I said, I feel like a fish out of water. Like there's just something not connecting. And he said, well, when you were brand new and you were a fish out of water and you didn't know what you were doing, what did you do? And I said, well, I held parties and I had hostesses and I was excited for where I was going. He said, we'll do that virtually. So at that moment, I got on my knees and I prayed and I said, God, I have not been obedient to what you've called me to do. And I'm throwing my hands up to you right now. And I could just cry because I, I remember that moment. I threw my hands up and I said, God, I am now going to be obedient, not just through my actions and my work, but through my thoughts. Because you see, guys, for the first five months of quarantine, I was doing the work, but mentally, subconsciously, this is what my mind was saying to me, not to anybody else. Virtual doesn't work. This isn't how you do Mary Kay. Oh, really, I'm going to send out 25 pampering packets and probably 10 are going to respond and maybe I'll be lucky if five get on. I mean, I had a really poor attitude. I was counting pennies, how much I was sending out. I was really in not a great healthy mental place to myself saying, I can't wait for this to be over so I can go back to real Mary Kay. Okay. These are the thoughts that were in my mind. I can't connect with people through social media. I mean, I was literally doing the activity, but not being obedient in my thoughts. And so I knew the first thing I had to fix for me, the very first thing I had to fix was to say, God, I believe that through this tragedy of what's going on in the world, you are going to use me as somebody to shine and make do your glory, do your work. Like, I believe this and I'm going to embrace the virtual world with an open heart, open mind, and I'm going to connect with people and figure out how to make it happen. So number one, I gave myself permission and obedience to, you can connect with women virtually and to change my thoughts. And it was a battle that I had hourly in the beginning, okay? <laughs> Daily, I still battle with y'all. I, I want you to know you're normal. When your thought goes negative, like, you might now, when you got on this call, you may have been like, okay, great. I'm going to hear what Jen does, but that's Jen. That's not going to work for me. She doesn't know my circumstance. You know how we play these negative stinking thinking in our own pretty little heads that we all battle them, okay? Right there, you've got to change that thought because that thought alone will stop you. Your mind controls everything and you can reprogram your brain, okay? So I would wake up every day and I'd reprogram my brain and I'd have happy thoughts. So I have found that the platform that works for me, that made me feel connecting to people and comfortable to people is through Facebook Live. I'm not saying Zoom's not great. We're on Zoom right now, and that's fantastic. But I want to ask you a question. If I were to look through this whole Zoom right now, that there's 81 of us on here, and I was to look through, I am going to tell you, and I just want you to think about this for a moment. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven live faces out of 81 people. Only seven of you, now eight, here's a new face. Thanks, April. Eight of you, thanks B, I saw B's face. Nine of you are showing me your face. Now, why is that? And it's okay, I'm not judging you, it's okay. You, shoot, you came on today because you knew you didn't have to show your face. And you knew you'd get your, your cup filled up, your soul filled up, and you would, get, you would just be ready for the day, right? But if you had to suit up, show up and be in your director's suit and put some makeup on and make sure there's no chaos around you and life happening, you probably wouldn't be on. You'd go, I watched the recording. Hi, Carol. Thanks for your pretty face. Okay. So here's how women at home feel. Okay. And I know this because my daughter told me this. Women at home are more likely to get on something that they don't have to show their face. 
because we all have issues. We have life. I asked my daughter, I said, why aren't people jumping on my Zooms? And she said, mom, if you, and she's 31, two kids, if you invited me to a Zoom party, I would not get one. And I said, why? She goes, because I have a one-year-old and a two-year-old. I never know what time life happens. And if you did it at night when they're in bed, I'm exhausted. And I said, Okay. She goes, do you know why I love Instagram, mom? I said, why? She goes, because I get to scroll and watch and nobody knows I'm watching. Think about this for a second. Why is Instagram so amazing? Because people scroll, people watch, and nobody knows. So I took that to heart and I said, huh. So you mean if I have a Facebook live party and you know people don't have to put their face on, do you think they watch? And she goes, I would. And I'd be intrigued. And I'd probably call that mom, but I don't want my face on. So it was a, like a light bulb moment. The second light bulb moment for me was, I was trying to copy off everybody else. Everybody else was doing product preview and doing this and doing that. And when I did product preview, it didn't feel good to me. I felt salesy. I felt, I like product on the face. <laughs> so I was like, why am I trying to copy somebody else when I'm going to do it Jen's way? So I make sure people have samples because that makes me feel good. That makes me feel authentic inside of me of who I am. I show up and I, I have on whatever I'm wearing that day. My hair is usually in a cute hair bow. And sometimes I have makeup on, sometimes I don't, but I'm Jen. So the second thing I did was I gave myself permission to be me and be authentic to what feels good inside my heart, inside my gut, inside my belly. And so I stopped trying to watch everybody else's lives and Zooms and you know, copy off at every single person. I said, I know how to have a skincare party in someone's home. I know how to have a skincare class. I know how to be me. And so I'm just going to do that. So in August, I had two customers and I'll tell you how I got them and what I did and what I offer. But I had two customers that were willing to be so sweet and host my first two Facebook live parties. Sweating like crazy, sweating down my butt crack, sweating down my boobs. I went live, okay? I'm just being real with y'all. I was sweating and I went live and my first party was great. You know, it was awesome. We sold $400. I got a booking that never held, but it was great. I got a new team member, okay? And I was like, that went really well. And I was nervous and I did it again. And that second party, I don't have my numbers in front of me all because y'all don't need that. But that second party, the power of that one party, her name is Candace. I'm forever, ever grateful because that second party I ended up getting four bookings that ended up turning into 12 more bookings and I sold over nine thousand dollars between all those parties and that was my springboard my springboard started from that one party that I was nervous and I said my number one goal at Candace's party was to get new bookings I didn't care about the sales <laughs> I cared about nothing except for the new bookings because here's why Prior to learning to work Facebook Live and have hostesses, I was doing everything underneath the sun to network, like everything underneath the sun to network, you could name of. I was doing it. And not only that, but I was paying a lot of money for bridal links. You know, have you guys ever bought bridal links before? Have you ever paid for a booth before? Have you ever paid for leads before? Okay, so I'm getting hot, y'all, because I'm getting excited. So think about, think about how much money you've paid for that. That's called marketing, right? And that's part of our business, right? So I came up with this brilliant idea. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be really strategic here. And I'm going to use my hostesses as my marketing. And I'm gonna make sure that my hostess program is so yummy, super delicious, that everybody's gonna wanna book with me because why wouldn't you? So I decided I'm gonna give my hostess $100 in free Mary Kay if nobody shows up. Why would I do that? to overcome an objection because most people don't want to book because they don't know how many are going to show. But I was like, well, I'm going to take that away from them. So I give to this day, a hundred dollars a free Mary Kay. If you book a Facebook live party with me, even if none of your friends show up and it's you and me, girl, you're getting a hundred bucks. Okay. And not only that, but I give her 10% of the sales and free product. Yes, I do. Cause you've got to motivate them to have their friends to buy. And then here's the golden nugget ticket. I give $25 for every friend that books a party. Every friend that books a party from her party, she gets $25 in hostess credit. Y'all, I, I did some math before I got on here with you guys. I've held over 125, 125 parties since August, 125 Facebook live parties. I've sold over $120,000 retail myself. I have 21 qualified recruits. 
I went from 60 customers. That's all I had as a top director. And I was kind of proud of it back then. I was like, I got six customers <laughs> to over 630, which is climbing every day. Okay. I want you to think about this. How much have you paid for a booth? How much have you paid for leads? So to me, the risk of someone not showing, having guests show up is my marketing. Let me give you an example. This is going to help expand your mind. And then I'm going to tell you how I do it with my unit and what I do. So on Monday night, I, hold, I held a party and I have my notes right here. I held a party, Lisa. And Lisa had 16 women in her group. I mailed out 12 pampering packets. Lisa gets $100 because I, because she has the party, right? I go live and it's just Lisa. Lisa tags a bunch of her friends to get them to come on and only one friend comes on, Corey, halfway through. I get done the party with just her and one other. Corinne then books a party with me so I get one booking. Corinne's the only one who ordered. She ordered $30. Party's over. I owe Lisa $125. Corinne only ordered 20. But I have a positive attitude about it. You know why? My husband said when the party was over, how did it go? I said it went so great because I was able to bless two amazing women to feel good at that moment. That's party one this week. Party two, coach, just like I coached Lisa's party. This is Casey. Casey's party is still open today. Casey's breaking records. But Casey's party has 30 women in it. 14 on the live. Nine new bookings as of today, but we're not done. Party closes today. She has over right now, twenty-four, $2,400 in sales from 13 women, nine new bookings. You see, I believe God blesses your obedience, the calling on your heart. When Monday's party, let's just face it, I hope it's okay, I can say this, sucked, okay? <laughs> when Monday's party wasn't great, I didn't sit there and count how many pampering packets I sent out. I didn't sit there and go, that really was a waste of my time. I said, thank you, God, for blessing me to allow me to be able to spend a half hour, 40 minutes with these amazing women to make them feel great, to make them feel beautiful. I did what I was supposed to do. I suited up, I showed up, and I know you're going to bless my efforts. I felt so great that I went like this to gift versus like this to take, okay? You can have your hands out, but are you giving or are you taking? So, I have had in my 125 parties, I have only had um, two that the hostess and nobody showed up. She didn't get hostess credit. And I've had three now that, this, that it cost me because there were not enough sales to cover my costs out of 125. I don't think that that's such a bad ratio. How many times have you paid for a booth and got all those leads and spent all that time and gave it all those sample packets and you didn't book one? How many times have you spent five, six hundred dollars a month on bridal leaves that I'm still doing because I have two bridal stores that I'm not even using because I'm so booked up I can't. How many times? And I pay that bill, right? It's part of marketing. So I want to help you first to think with marketing eyes. This is a business, y'all. It's a business, okay? My son, who's um, 35 right now, opened up a business five years ago in cybersecurity. He put all his life savings of $100,000 in it with two partners. And he did not take a paycheck for an entire year. Neither does partners for an entire year. Could you imagine if you had to do that? Their business is now worth over 22 million. But for that year, talk about risk. Nobody was going to give him back his $100,000. Nobody was going to pay his mortgage, okay? We are in a golden opportunity. But it's going to take us having a business mindset to blow up. So, Jen, are you going to line up me and Mary you? But I'm sure everybody's like, start the process. I want to know what you say how you close, how you get the bookings. I want, yeah, and I know we're recording this. I know people are, and you guys put some stuff in the chat section too, just if you have questions, because I know that we're gonna do that. But Jen, cause I mean, I'm like so excited you wanna rejoin or something, you know? Okay. And be yeah. like, okay. Well, and, I, and I will tell you just how my brain works so you can help me is that I'm not able to read the chat and talk at the same time. So interrupt me anytime because my brain does not function like that. I have to be one laser sharp focus. I'll miss every question in the chat, but you keep track if you don't mind. And then you interrupt me anytime. You have my permission to interrupt me. Okay, I do wanna share this with you because this is important for you guys to know. Last year at this time, I screenshot, okay? I screenshot, you know, when your computer flips, you know, anyways, you see what you did last year. It's called month, monthly comparison. So from last year in February, we had 420,000 wholesale in. 
we now have dollars away from 650, 650,000. I increased my unit as a whole by 51%. Um, last year, my in February, we did only 20,000 wholesale. We finished this last February with over 36,000 wholesale, 72% increase. My personal team last year, I've always had a strong personal team, did 7,000 wholesale. This past February, they did 12,000, 50% increase. This is the number I want you to get. Last February, I did 1,200 wholesale, myself personally. Last month, all from CDS orders, I did $9,245 wholesale. I sold over $18,000. I increased my personal business by 612%, y'all. Okay, imagine if you're doing, I, I, wanna, get, I wanna get deep with y'all. Is it okay if I get deep? Can I get real? Okay, so imagine if you yourself are doing 10,000 wholesale every month, like yourself personally, what would that do for your unit? What? Okay, okay. I myself have already done 125,000 retail to my unit. Okay. Do you guys realize and remember that we get paid 23% on our own wholesale orders? So some months I do 12,000 wholesale, just depends on what I'm selling. So let's just do 10,000 wholesale on average because that's easy for math. If you sell your butt off and hold a bunch of great parties this month and you do 10,000 wholesale, Mary Kay is going to increase your paycheck by $2,300. Okay, does that make sense, y'all? You get paid on your own orders going in. So for me, I'm not afraid to treat my hostess like a queen. So out of the 125 hostesses I had in, since August, I would say 120 of them are on Miracle Set or TimeWise Repair Set. 120 of them on. <laughs> Do y'all understand the garden that I have just planted with the seeds that are now harvesting? Like I'm gonna hit a thousand customers before seminar so far and I'm excited, okay? Like it never gets old selling this product. And so one I of the questions is real quickly, how do you get the addresses to send the packets out from Facebook? So that was a question. I got it all, I got it all for you, okay. so. What I'm doing first, why I'm not giving you the, the nuggets, I'm, I'm telling you why I'm not giving you the nuggets, is that if you don't shift your thinking to reprogram it, to think an amazing new thought of accepting what I'm going to tell you, it doesn't matter what details I give you. It doesn't matter. You could watch every party I do. It is not going to make a daggone difference. Until you shift what is between your two ears to be open-minded, to receive, and to accept God's blessing and to get on your knees and to pray for him to use you, for you to be obedient to the calling, for you to get up and show up every day. Y'all, I work every single day, 12 hours a day, Monday through Friday, and I'm not ashamed of it. And I am not going to apologize to anybody that I put in 12 hours a day to Mary Kay. I do it because I've got lives assigned to me. Now that does mean I get to have lunch and help my husband or my daughter. I'm not like 12 hours solid sitting in a computer, but y'all, this is a job. We, you get a paycheck and we get paid a whole lot of daggone money. <laughs> you got to suit up and show up. You got a free car out there in that driveway. Okay. You got to earn it. Okay. And I can tell you for many, many, many years, I was riding the gravy train of my unit and I'm a top director. I'm a top director. I know why I'm not a national because I was riding the gravy train of being a top director and not doing my job as a leader in what I've been assigned for God to do, to go out and touch and bless the lives that he has assigned to me that I sat back and was too scared. I was thinking negative thoughts. I wasn't getting out of my own way. I was settling, y'all. Here, here's the biggest thing I want to tell y'all. I was settling that it was okay to be a top director. I was, and I could cry. My lip, my bottom lip is quivering. I, in my head, was saying, you know what? I'm good. I lead people. It doesn't matter my title. I'm a top director. I live a great life. I love my life. This is okay. There's not bad. My retirement can be a top director. Do you guys see what somebody was doing? I was doing to myself in my own head. I was saying that this was good enough. I literally, y'all, was sabotaging my own thoughts in my own mind. Can I just tell you guys something that you're going to be like, what? Okay, I have worked with a lot of nationals recently, and I think this is God's way of telling me I'm already one because 
you know, the more I talk to all these nationals, the more I'm like, I belong in this club. Like, like I belong in this club. But do you know the questions they ask me? Some of them say, can you send me a picture of your sampling packet? Some of them say, can, can I watch your party? How do you close? Do you guys know they have the same fears you have? Okay. <laughs> they have just done more work and they also have learned to control their thinking. I'm sure they still battle with it. I guarantee you they do. Okay. So Mary Cash always said that somebody who does great big things and to be successful is an ordinary person with extraordinary determination. And you know what? That's me right now. I got it. I'm not letting go of it and nothing's going to get in my head. But it had to start up in here. So wherever you are in your journey, and you might be in a valley right now. You might be, Jen, I'm barely hanging on to my unit. Or you might be, Jen, you have no idea I'm making a car payment. Wherever you are, or you have just given yourself permission that being a top director or a whatever level is a national, or wherever you are, that's okay. That's good enough. Is not being obedient to what God has chosen and planned for you on your life. It is not. And the day that I got on my knees and I prayed and I just put my hands up literally and I just said, God, I'm all yours. Whatever you guide me to do, I am all yours, is the day that I shifted my mind to think a new thought. And is the day, do you know why I'm having great success right now? I'll tell you why I'm having great success. So I can be right here for you right now at this time with this conversation for you. It's not about me. It's not about me, y'all. It's about you. God blesses your obedience and your effort so he can use you to bless others. And that is why I'm having success. Because he wants me to share with you right now about my real journey, about the pain, about what goes on in my head, because nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about all you could do is compare yourself to this one and that one. And you think, well, she's just better than me. She's greater than me. I compare myself. Why am I not a national sales director? Am I not good enough? What do I need to do differently? I don't know what to do, God. Does any of this sound like it's you? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stop all that and get to the nuggets. But I just felt it was important to pour that out to you because your feelings are real. Validate them. You're not crazy. You're not losing your marbles. They're real. But you've got to like get on your knees and pray to God. Then you've got to work on your thoughts in your head. Okay? You've got to reprogram that brain. And then you just got to get to work. Okay? Like you can't take that piece away, y'all. You've got to get to work. And I do believe God will bless your efforts. So now I can, I can get the nuggets. <laughs> I had to get that out because I believe that's why I'm having success is because I'm being obedient to God using me. That's why I'm having success. I'm, I'm 100% obedient to his calling. 100%. I will say no to nobody asking me to do anything that will help spread this word of what I've gone through. I will say yes to everybody. So nuggets, you want me to start from the beginning or do you want me to answer certain questions or how should we go from here? Because now I'm like a little hot mess. But it's all okay, good. so I think what, I, what I'm reading and seeing a lot of people says, is there, do you actually have a Facebook Live party recorded somewhere where people can actually see it? I think the process for some of us who are visual, Jen, have you actually recorded one at all that, that's there? Well, I have 125 of them because I have 125 parties recruited in the recruit. I mean, out there in the Facebook world, but do I have a mock one? No. Could I do a mock one? Absolutely. And maybe that's the thing that I need to do is to um, take time to bless everybody by doing a mock party, you know, create a Facebook group and call it Jen's mock party. I don't know. I can call it something and I can just go live and do a party like well, a different party. Yeah. Some of our directors, we talked yesterday during our lunch time together and they were saying, we think that you'll do it differently <laughs> when it's a mock than you will when it's a real one, you know? So that's, if you could just tape one, that'd be great. And then people are saying, yes, can you start the whole process? Please share. Well, here, here's how it's going to help me not to be a mock is that we can, if you'd like, I would be happy to do this with you. Um, just like I did the recording for NSD Katrina is that if I know I'm live with you, I will be real. If it's recording, it takes me like 5,000 times to do. Like Gloria had me do it for the power day or whatever. I had to record myself and send it to her. It took me like five hours to do a 20 minute recording. But if we pick a date and time and create a Facebook group, I will do, I'll do a party with y'all. Y'all, you can be my hostess and y'all can be the guests and I will do my party. If that okay. makes sense. 
Yeah, I will. I will. I will be on that when we're done. Uh, but it says here, would you please go step by step? <laughs> I'll do it in the party. I'll do it in the party for you because th then we're taking the whole. It will take me. You know, my party is forty minutes. So basically, what I'm going to do, if it's okay, just to help you guys, is I'm going to. Okay, so. Um, Janice, you and I can decide a time. We can do it right now if you'd like, but I'm going to do a party for you. <laughs> You're going to be my hostess, okay? And I'll do a party for you and everybody can join and watch later or be on the live. I, it doesn't matter to me. And then we'll pick a date and time. And then I want to give you all nuggets of what to do to get things on your date book. Because if you wait to see me do a party and you wait to see all my details, you are slowing down God using you. Y'all, nobody showed me what to do. Nobody told me how to do it. I just dived in. Does that make sense? I'll give you my nuggets, but I would love to give you how I booked what I booked on my date book to get you started. And then, you know, we can decide in the next week or something. I mean, I'm, I'll be yours, but every time you need me, I'll, I'll make it work and I'll do a party for you guys. Okay. Well, I have to work around your busy schedule because I think that your parties are much more booked than mine. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I, daytimes I've got flexibility. Evening times I'm, I'm jammed packed and I don't work weekends. Y'all I don't do Fridays. I don't do Saturdays and Sundays at all. I work no weekends. It's hundred percent. My family I won't do any parties, won't do anything on weekends because that's my family time. But I can do any time of the day and we can figure that detail out if that's okay. And we can make it next week so that you all have that coming. Does that yeah, put good? me on your date book for next week. Anytime Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday next week works for me during the day. Are we the same time zone? Um, I'm Eastern, so... I'm central. So we're now okay, we'll, figure, we'll figure it out. I am babysitting my little granddaughter, my, my grandson who is... Um, three weeks old, was born with just three chambers of his heart. He's missing one. And he it just got open heart surgery and he's doing well. Praise God that um, I do have granddaughter next week, but we'll work around that because I can do that. Or she could be sitting on my lap. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Okay. So let me take you back to last August. What I did is I went to my customers and I did not have a script. I was honest and I was real with them. I went to customers who I knew loved me, loved the product. And I literally said like this, Candace was one of them. Hey, Candace, it's Jen. Listen, girl, you know how everything's virtual? Well, I've decided to launch my business virtually through Facebook Live parties. And I wanted to see if you'd be so sweet to be one of my first hostesses, because I'm actually really nervous. And I've never done this before. I mean, I was honest. I was real. Because I can't, me, I can't use a script that's not me. I can't say someone challenged me, you know, all the scripts we give our peeps to use or you use, I can't do that. I have to be real and I have to be authentic and honest. Otherwise it doesn't come across that way. So I literally said, I'm scared. I thought of you because I know how much you love the product. I know you love me, whatever. So I called up a couple of people and I got two women to Becky and Candace agreed to start booking with me. And that's all I started with. So two parties turned in to 125 parties. Do you guys understand? You have to start somewhere. So who do you know in your A-man corner and your customer base that loves the product, loves you? And then obviously on Facebook, because if not on Facebook, it's not going to work. Who do you know that could be so sweet to agree to book a party with you and get her on your date book? Like get her on your date book. Okay. So these two women booked and I didn't know what I was doing. I was, I was scared. And so I put it together. I put a Facebook group together, not an event. And I um, invited her as the hostess and she started inviting friends. The minute friends join, I PM them and friend request them. And I say, hi, Mary, thanks for joining Susie's party. My name is Jim Bessaker. It's nice to meet you virtually. I would love to send you a pampering package full of samples to use for the Facebook Live event. Okay, so I type that out. I type it. Then when she responds back, here's the key. Here's how you build connections. Mary responds back and says, sure, here's my address. I now use my voice. I want you guys to get this. I click and use my voice, Mary. Oh my goodness, girl, thank you for sharing your address with me. I am putting that pampering package in the mail. I hope you have a great, amazing day. Okay, I want her to hear my voice. Okay, you guys understand that, right? Okay, I type first, then voice. Okay, I'm a voice girl because voice builds connection. They can hear you, they can feel you. It's building a connection. So then I do that for everybody in the party. And then what I do in the party group is I do, um, I don't bombard their Facebook with postings. There's nothing more annoying than your Facebook newsfeed blowing up with posts from people for a party. I do do posts a day, one about a product, one engagement. Do you like charcoal masks? Do you like gel masks? But my first posts are not 
about me or Mary Kay. My first two posts, the first one is, tell us how much you love the hostess. And she gets to comment and comment. Why am I doing that? Well, because when B puts a comment about, um, you know, Janice saying, I love her. She's my best friend. She's my sister. How do you think that's making the hostess feel? She's amazing. So my first post is about loving on the hostess. And I heart and I comment and I heart and I comment. And why am I hearting and commenting? Because it's building up Facebook algorithms. The second post is a brilliant one. It says, wow, 2020 was a really challenging, tough year to say the least. Tell me what great happened in your life. I had a baby. Oh my, and I'm commenting in the news feed. Oh my goodness, girl, congratulations. What do you have a boy or girl? I'm creating a connection and conversation live in the party, okay? So um, some people say, I'm alive. I woke up. That's right, girl. What hashtag blessed. Okay. Like, like, man, right then and there, I'm sealing the deal. I'm sealing the deal. I'm connecting and sealing the deal. I'm coming on every one of them, coming on every one of them. We are now connected to the first two posts are about loving on the hostess and making her feel special. Then it's about me connecting with her and getting to know her life. Then I go to her Facebook group. So, you know, B and Mary join the group and I'm going to be, I'm going to start liking and commenting. Maybe she just posted a picture of her little kid in a high chair eating Cheerios or something. Oh my God, cutie pie. You know, maybe Mary's posting. She just, I don't know, whatever. Loves her coffee in the morning. Like I am literally making a comment. Why am I making a comment? Building connections, Facebook algorithm. I have two goals. Build a connection, Facebook algorithm. Build a connection, Facebook algorithm. So at this point throughout the party, this is what, the party's not going yet. This is just leading up to the party. So I'm connecting with these women, connecting with them virtually, okay? Connecting virtually. And then I do go live. Once my party page is up and I started to collect addresses, I go live. And this is what I do. I go live about three days into the party and I say, hi, happy Friday. I'm coming to you live for two reasons. One, to introduce myself. I'm Jen Bessaker and I'm the beauty consultant partnering with Susie today that we're going to take you to the spa. Next Friday, I get the date and time. You're going to the spa. Well, actually, the spa is coming to you. That's right. If you haven't had a chance to give me your name and address yet, please comment below or PM me because I'm going to send you this amazing cute pampering packet full of a lot of goodies. So here's how this is going to work. Next Friday, 7 p.m., you're going to come back to this group, same time or same place, and I'm going to be live. You won't, I won't be able to see and hear you, but you can see and hear me. And oh, by the way, I'm giving away a lot of prizes. Bye. Boom. That's what I do. I just go live. So they have faces. Anybody on the live? No. Then I get off the live in the comment section. I tag, I tag, I tag, I tag, I tag. So they'll see my video. Facebook algorithm. Okay. So then leading up to the party, my number one goal is to get their addresses to mail out the packets. If they're not getting the, if I'm not getting the addresses, I enroll my hostess. I call up my hostess. Voice. I don't call. I voice. Hey, big girl, you have got a lot of girls in your group, and I've gotten almost everybody, but I'm missing blah, 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 this address. Can you be so sweet, girl, and just message them or PM them? They probably don't see my message, and just have them get their address for me, okay? Thanks, girl, literally, and then she gets me all their information. Okay, everything's PM. Here's how I recruit people. So, B is my amazing hostess. B has got a group of 25 women, and they're commenting, rocking back and forth. It's a rocking party, so... The day before the party, this is what I do. Hey, B girl, wow. I can tell your friends and family just love you. You've got like 25 people in there just loving all over you. Listen, I have a question for you. I know you probably never ever thought about doing what I do in Mary Kay, but I think you'd be great. Would you be open to a conversation with me? I mean, it's only $30 to get started and we're doing that party Friday anyways. That could be your launch party and you can make like 50%. Would you be open to talk to me for five or 10 minutes? Bingo. You know what she does? She either messaged me back, hey, I wanna talk, or ignores me, or tells me, I'm too busy, I can't. That's okay, she's still a prospect. But those that say, yeah, I wanna talk, I get her on the phone, I interview her, and it's her launch party. So my highest launch party from doing this is $2,700. My average launch party is over about 1,000. I tried to recruit Casey, big time, the one who's having this almost $3,000 party, she still tells me she's too busy. After she's on nine parties with me with her friends, she's gonna be joining. Don't think she won't. She's gonna see me nine more times, do a party. We are becoming BFFs. And right now she's a record breaker. She wants to break the record. She broke the record for the most bookings. And um, she broke the record for, it was, oh, the most highest in hostess credit. And she goes, she says to me, what other record can I break? Oh, she thinks she belongs in the Mary Kay world. 
yes. Okay. I was like, girl, you can break the record for the most sales and the most guests order. And she's like, I'm on it today. Okay. Do you see what I do? I'm creating this like virtual community of excitement with the hostess and her people. And, and they now have this little community. They talk back and forth and they're like friends and this, this virtual world. It's like mind blowing. So that's how I do what I do. And if they don't recruit, that's okay. They don't have to recruit. I, I, I love having 600 customers in my customer base. Um, but that's how I've been recruiting and how I've been getting amazing women. And I do the same I do in my personal party. I do for a new consultant launch party. But here's how I help this new consultant get anchored. So if Casey were have to have recruited before the party and I would get all these great bookings, I'm going to do like the first three with her. So Casey comes on board. I do her launch party. I'm going to get her bookings. And I will do the first by myself without her because she's scared to death. The second, I'll invite her to StreamYard and me and say nothing, just be my little van and hold up the products and look super cute. The third, I will give her something like charcoal mask to talk about. And I'll let her study it and feel confident and she can talk about the charcoal mask while I talk about everything else. And I'll even do a fourth or a fifth with her. Like I will do whatever I have to do to be there with her, assuming that she's suiting up and showing up. Do you guys get it? You see, imagine how you feel about virtual world. How do you think your consultants feel? How do you think a new consultant feels? You think you're scared? <laughs> imagine being in them. You're a confident woman, right? So what I have found is that I become duplicatable because I go with them to their parties, but I don't leave my house. Like, like, and I just slowly hand things over to them. The same thing I did in person. When I was in person, I'd go to someone's home and do a launch party for them. And if they had a good group of women, I would go do a second with them. I don't know about y'all, but I would, I loved it. You know, the more people I'm around, the more love I can give, the more people I can bless. And so I just do it virtually. And I slowly hand her over the coaching. So by her third or fourth party, she does not need me anymore. They usually tell me, Jen, I can do this one by myself. I got this. And I'm like, okay, girl. Okay, girl, right? Because me popping on a party only takes 30 minutes. It doesn't take, you know, you know, before, before COVID, we had to pack our car, drive an hour, get fine parking, get in their house, be there for two to three hours, drive home. Like one party would take you forever, right? You know what I'm talking about? Okay. I said it to my husband this morning. I said, I said, isn't it amazing that I get to do all I do from the seat of my house? He goes, yeah, before you used to be gone for like hours. I'm like, yeah. He goes, now you're just in your office for like an hour for a whole party or two parties and you're back watching movies with us. I'm like, I know. So, um, okay. And so, can we ask two questions here uh, really quickly? So um, how do you get hostesses on nine parties? That was one question. Yeah. And, the, and the other question is, how do you keep track of all your sales and bookings? Okay. So let me start with the easy one the simplest one, two spiral notebooks, two spiral notebooks. My one's out there. Okay. Okay. This is my notebook for party sales. So since November, these are all the parties I had. Okay. These are each represent a sheet. Each page is after oh, my husband's on the printer is after the party holds. Okay. And what I do, it's a hot mess. You guys won't understand it, but I write her name down. I write $100 because she's automatically gets $100. As people book on the right-hand side, right here, these are all the parties that were booked, okay? I know it's chicken scratch to y'all, but these are the women who are booking. I write their first name and I keep track and then I write the date the party booked, okay? So I know she's got nine parties booked, okay? Then as people order, I write their first name, I write the amount of her order, and I write check mark she paid and check mark means i cds i cds everything because it's just the best thing in the entire world for me um and so i see that she's got 13 orders so this and so this is how i track my parties per party to know her hostess credit and what gets sold how i track to get the pampering packages i have a whole nother spiral notebook that the minute you know i put b's party together b gets a date and time on there and then as people start to rsvp and i get not RSVP, join the group, and I get their address, I write, you know, um, Susie, Tammy, Brooke, so I know that I got her address and a pampering packet went out. That, that's all I do track. That's my simple tracking. It's making sure pampering packets go out, and then after the party's held, what are the results of the party and any of the winners? Now, how do I get bookings from bookings? Um, this little baby right here, so I will make sure you guys have this, if you were on or heard my consultant training, you hear me talk about this. This is a hashtag game board. And this is a game I play in every party I do. And this is my golden ticket. I copied it off somebody else 
but I just made it my own. I don't remember where I heard it from. This goes in their pampering packet. So in a pampering packet, they get a miracle set, they get a lookbook, and they get um, charcoal mask or whatever you want to send them. I don't think it matters what you send. You send what you want to send, okay? But this and this are tickets. Because nowadays, people are on virtual all the time, websites all the time. They like a lookbook. This is what I call, remember the Sears Wish book when you were a little girl and you got it at the catalog in the mail and you were so excited and you Saturday morning you would circle all your toys you wanted for Christmas? This is what it is. And I say that on every party. Ladies, this is like your Sears Wish book. I know I'm aging myself, but yeah, right? Okay. So throughout the party, I refer to the lookbook and tell them to turn to this page, turn to that page. I tell them throughout the party the whole time that this game sheet, everyone's going to be a winner. Every single one of you are going to win today. That little sheet that came in your packet, go ahead and pull that out. If you can't find it, you can just write on the back of your lookbook, make a tic-tac-toe form. So throughout today, your number one goal is to write down nine products you'd love to get for free. Like it could be something we tried, something we talk about, something you love that you get for free. Okay, nine products that you get for free. You're going to write those down. Everybody who turns that into me at the end of the party is going to win a prize. Who likes to win prizes? And they're like, me, 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 me. Okay. And then I go throughout my party. I literally do what I do in a skincare class in someone's home. I walk them through the miracle set. Uh, the charcoal mask is on their face. I talk about my top favorite products. And then um, after they take that all off and we put our eye cream and our night cream on, I close the party. And here's how I close the party. So I end the party and I'm like, B, girl, thank you so much for being the hostess with Moses tonight. Oh my gosh, B, I just appreciate you. I've had so much fun meeting all of you. And I start reading off their names as much as I can. People hear their name. What do they feel? Special. So I make sure I'm reading off names. I'm trying to call people by names. I scroll my phone. I'm like, oh, Susie, Brooke, you know, okay. And then I say, okay, so here's how everyone's going to be a winner tonight. You know that little form you all filled out? Well, I'm going to give you three questions and they're actually, I'm going to give you the answers. And you're going to just circle the answer and then you're going to PM it back to me tonight. And let's see, right now it is, it is 8.30. Get it to me by nine and you're a winner. Okay, get it to me by nine and you're a winner. Okay, question number one. Would you like to be my customer? I mean, is if you don't or either have a Mary Kate girl. If you've got a Mary Kate consultant, by all means, you can buy to support B's party, but you go back to her. That's our golden rule. But if you don't have a consultant, I'd be honored to be her. And I tell her what she gets for being my customer. She gets a birthday gift. She gets invited to my private customer page, 100% my back guarantee. Okay, number two is my favorite question. Number two is free or me. What does free mean? Well, here's the deal. Let me just tell you about what B's getting tonight for free. Okay, so B's gonna get, B gets $100, gets it to her. Like, just because I love her. B, you know I love you, right? Okay, you get 100 bucks. 100 bucks, even if y'all didn't show up, but y'all are here. Okay, B gets $100 for free. And then you know what else? He's going to get 10% of the sales of anything you fell in love with tonight and you want to get. Yeah, I mean, 10%, guys, right? Isn't that awesome? And not only that, but if y'all liked me and you had fun and you think, I might want to have one of these little parties, anybody of your her friends that book a party tonight, he's going to get $25 in hostess credit, right? I mean, stop it, yeah. And you know what? Right now, I have this quarterly spa contest going on where my highest hostess that has the most hostess credit it's a spa gift card on me. And I'll just tell you right now, that's over $470 in hostess credit and eight bookings. Do you think we could beat that for me? This is exactly what I said on Casey's party. And then all of a sudden I'm booking, I'm booking, I'm booking. I'm right now. Okay, we got no booking number six. Booking number seven. Oh my gosh, booking eight. Monica, girl, thank you for booking. Okay, we just need one more booking, but let me keep going on. All right, now, guess what? You say free and we'll pick out a date. Doesn't have to be like tomorrow. It can be in April or May. I book out that far, don't worry. And you are gonna get $100 for free, even if no one shows up. Yeah, girl, you and me, 100 bucks for you, okay? You're gonna get 10% of the sales and free product and get this. When your friend books, you get $25 too. And hey, you never know, you might be a highest hostess too and y'all could go to the spa to get there. Okay, so circle free or me. Me just means no thank you. I don't like free stuff. That's okay, just me. That's free or me. Okay, number three is, okay, so this one's about additional information. So here's the deal. I won't twist your arm to sell Mary Kay, but I'll just about twist your arm off to hear the facts because you know what? I'm so thankful and grateful someone took the time 17 years ago to share a little bit about Mary Kay with me for what it's done in my life. And then at that point, I tell them the blessings that have come in my life from Mary Kay. And I say, I would just love your permission to share a little bit more information with you. That's it. 
It may not be your jam, and that's okay, girl. But you know what? You don't know what you don't know. So if you say more information, I'll send you some more information. So just put more information or no thank you, and that's okay. All right, so it's now 8.10. Y'all got 20 minutes to turn this little bad boy in. They're already pinging. They're coming in. They're coming in. 20 minutes to turn this in, and everybody's a winner. Okay, so they start flying in. Here's what happens. Okay, so Mary is the first one to come in. And what I, when they all come in, I look for one thing and one thing only. I look for free being circled. Okay, that's all, that's all I care about is bookings right now. Okay, I'm going to solidify the booking. So Mary comes, you know, Carla comes. And so I grab the free one first and I say, this is what I say with my voice, Mary, girl, you made my night, my week, my month. I cannot wait for you to be a hostess with me. Girl, what's better for you? Something during the week or on a Friday night? Susie, girl, you have made my night, my week, my month. What's better for you? Something during the week or on a Friday night? Bam, 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 bam. Okay, then they start firing back, firing back. Then I give dates, then I give dates, then I give dates. Once I seal the deal, seal the deal, here's what I do. Mary, thank you so much for booking a party. Thank you so much for turning in your sheet. And thank you so much for asking for information. You get one item at 50% off as my gift to you. One item at 50% off is my gift to you. Now, what if she comes back and says it can be the ultimate time-wise or the ultimate time-wise repair set? Sure can. Because you know what, Mary? You're special. You can get it for half price. Remember, I make 23% on my own wholesale orders. So I'm still making money even though she gets it at cost, right? Marketing. Marketing. Okay. Mary booked a party. Mary buys the ultimate repair set with the wrinkle filler and the peel for half price. I make 23% off Mary's order. Mary's now loving the product, getting on the product. Her party's in three weeks. When I talk to Mary a little bit about the opportunity and layer her before her party, and she's loved the product for three weeks, and she's got a big rocking group, what do you think Mary wants to do? Huh, this is easy. I can do this. Do you guys understand strategic thinking and marketing? So that's what I do. My number one goal in a party is for them to book. Why? Because I know if I get her to book a party with me, I have a better chance of recruiting her and getting her on the whole entire product. Now, a lot of people in Casey's party are buying the time-wise repairs. Let's turn back time party. They're buying the time-wise repair um, go set because they're hostesses. And what do you think they're saying to me? I can't wait to get my hostess credit to get the big set. Girl, I don't care how you get it. I just want you on it. So you understand what I'm saying? And then I offer a little special gift. You spend $50, you get like, whatever. And I make a, I make a reward for free. Why? Because I'm moving more product. So she, I upsold somebody. They got the mini. I said, girl, throw a mascara in there. You get eye makeup remover for free. She says, I love you. Thank you. She got an eye makeup remover. So I, I upped her order. She's on a mini, on eye makeup remover, on mascara. She booked a party. Do y'all understand what, how this magic is working? When you think strategically like this, mind blowing. Now, I don't use a clothes sheet. I'm not saying a clothes sheet's bad. It just hurts my head and confuses me. And if it hurts my head and confuses me, how on earth am I going to share it with somebody else? I simply use the lookbook and offer party specials. I offer the same specials because I'm obsessed. I love eye patches. These are like a cappuccino for your eyes. These will de-puff, de-stress, and wake your eyes up just like a cup of coffee does. And you know what? I, I love these so much. I'm going to give these as a party special. $10 off. Oh, yeah. Everybody needs them. Uh, let me talk here just a few quick questions if you want to answer real quickly too. What is what are you doing for your quarterly spa winner is the first question. Yeah. Okay, I'll answer it. So at first I was just giving away one spa gift card, but I find my hostesses are very competitive every quarter, like Casey. And um so my highest hostess to date has been over $3,500 in one party. And I now do the top three. So I have a top the last quarter. All three hosts that got a gift card were over $3,000. Each party was over $3,000. And so the top one got a $150 gift card or her choice in Mary Kay. The second one got a $100 gift card or her choice of in Mary Kay product. The third one got a $50 gift card or her choice in Mary Kay. Do you know that the top one picked the gift card only? The other two is like, oh, I'll just have free Mary Kay from you. Thanks, Jen. So I offer them. I thought they would all want the spa card. The top one was just happening to go to a spa soon. So I went online, order her a gift card from the spa of her choice, cost me 150 bucks. The other two just got free product. So I personally do a quarterly spa contest because it helps me 
to sell the sizzle of getting more sales, more bookings, more everything. And people, and I've interviewed, when I say interview, I mean, I've talked to all my hostesses and I ask them, so tell me after the party's over, tell me, you know, April, why did you book with me? What was it about that you booked a party with me? You know, congratulations on your hostess credit. What, what did you book? Number one thing they tell me is, well, I wanted to help B get more free product. Number one thing they tell me is that I wanted to help my hostess, my friend get more free product. I want to help. I want to help. I want to help. I wanted her to win the spa day. So I booked a party. Do you guys understand women want to help other women out? So the spa day to me is huge. And I started that and it's just snowballed from there. And okay. I can teach you how to do it with your unit too. When we get to that, so we haven't even talked unit y'all. This is just personal. When I get to unit stuff, I'm going to blow your mind. Okay. What do they get for free for turning that card in? Half price item. Half price item. Because okay. if they don't buy, I give nothing away. Okay. The other question is, are you charging any shipping for CDS orders? Nope. I didn't think so. It's your, your personal business, but when I have to go on, I attended an Arbonne party for health and wellness and I, you know, bought something to be nice because, you know, that's what you do. And when I saw the shipping for, I bought a box of tea for $20. Hello. And <laughs> I saw the shipping was, was eight ninety five that I had to pay. I was like, I'm so glad I'm in Mary Kay. Holy macaroni. I bought a box of 20 tea bags. I'm not knocking Arbonne. I'm just saying that as a guest on a party, I was like, turned off that I had to pay that shipping. So personally, I don't, it's a business expense, a tax write off. Again, I am looking to anchor customers to be in my unit when, or not my unit ultimately, but customers to be in my customer base and or join my team. So I don't mind if I break even on a party. If I make $0 on a party, I don't mind because it's future. I'm planting seeds of customers and team members and that's okay. Of course we make money selling our product, but, but you've, got to, you've got to watch that in your head because if you're thinking in your head, oh, this party I didn't make any money off of, or this party actually cost me, remind yourself how many times have you paid for a booth and stood there and got nothing? How many times have you brought bridal leads and stood there and got nothing? How many times have you done whatever, bought a bunch of roses and handed them out? Do I need to go on? Remind yourself of that, okay? Because okay. that kind of thinking is going to put your head in the less than and lack mentality, and you're not going to have abundance. Okay. I do keep track of everything. Don't get me wrong. I know how much things cost me, but I just want to break even. Okay. And y'all call me crazy. Collect orders or send them to your website. So do you collect the money for the orders or send them to your website? So I'm going to be honest, and this is not a negative thing, but I think sometimes our website can be a little challenging for people. Not a negative comment, just it is. Okay. So I give them three choices. I say, if you're a web girl and you love to be on the internet, you can shop on my website. It's open 24 seven a day. You register, you shop, you will not see my party specials. Uh, at, the order comes directly to me and I will adjust your credit card um, you know, processing. Two, you can just PM me. Like you can just send me a little personal message and tell me what you'd like out of the catalog. Or three, we can talk over the phone. If you're a phone girl, I'm a phone girl. I love to talk. And I get excited when someone wants to talk to me. So if you'd like to, I will post my phone number. When we get done here, I'll post the party specials, my website, my phone number, and we can chat or you can text me. I give them all their options. What do most people do? Probably 75% PM me. And Jen, what I'm hearing you say though too, a lot of this production is um, you're making 23% with your unit and of course 13% on your own or I mean you're on your own order and all that stuff. So then your income is coming in, you're just moving and then your product sales, of course you're in the highest price category for star. You are, you know, you're getting all the, <laughs> the amazing perks. Yeah. And I think that's what happens with people is we like, we try and figure out that dollar and that dime. And I, I feel like you're like pushing that. I see B shaking her head. Yes. Also too, yeah. because. Yeah. yeah. So really what I've done is to, because I wasn't doing that the first half of COVID, the first half of COVID, I was like watching all my expenses and I was feeling stressed about it. And, you know, not knowing if our company would be open. And then I, I shifted and I gave it to God. And then I said, you know what, we, we, when, when you really break it out, we make 23% of what we order because we're like a working consultant in our own unit. You make 36% off your personal team. So you don't make an extra 13% off yourself. But if you do 10,000 wholesale that you yourself put in, Mary Kay's going to increase your paycheck $2,300 more than what what you you have and so for me that's my paycheck that's my paycheck at the end of the month i'm like go me there's my paycheck now don't get me wrong i still make money on these parties but you know am i making off a three thousand dollar party that, that's three thousand retail that's not party specials that's not money i collected you know that means i'm putting the 1500 wholesale but maybe i'm only putting 300 in my checking account from that party i don't care because 
look, I mean, I just, I just gained um, 13 customers from this girl, nine bookings. And so if I only put like a few hundred dollars in my account, I don't care. I don't need to put half that in my account because the big picture, like, like look beyond, like, I think we live day to day instead of our vision of where we're going. And I know, and my husband, men get it. I talked to my husband about this this morning. He goes, yeah, because they're going to buy full price later. I said, yeah. He goes, why don't your girls get this? I said, I don't know. <laughs> he's like, he goes, it's not rocket science. Like he's very business minded and a business person gets it because they pay to market. So look at your parties okay. and everything to do with your party is your marketing. What if you said March is going to be Mar March marketing? And you were going to say, you know what, the money I normally would spend on, I don't know, studio rent that you don't have anymore, hopefully, um, you know, paying for a booth or whatever, whatever, you actually said, I'm going to invest that in five hostesses and five hostesses, I'm going to get my head at all as a free Mary Kay and not expect nothing in return. What if you had a mindset of that I'm going to gift five hundred dollars a free Mary Kay, which is really only 250 and you went like this gifting, I'm going to gift five of my sweetest customers or family, you know, um, five hundred dollars a Mary Kay this month watch what comes back to you. Well, not only that, but I think the thing is that when you're looking at your, um, if we could go back to your personal team building. So you're getting $100 from the company for every new team member you have. Um, mm -hmm. You're getting that. And, um, you know, so that's increasing. And then your rate starts qualified. You're getting those bonuses because you're creating it. So you're creating your own income source of the personal team members, which is 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. And then, of course, that and your 13%. Jen, what, I mean, your reorder business today must be, unbelievable and if i think about you know what you've built now and now they're coming back and paying full price because they want to reorder it um your reorder business must be incredible yeah well i will tell you last month i only held 14 parties which is low for me and um my average party sale was probably is, is a thousand so i you know did fourteen thousand in party sales and then i did another six and reorders the people paid 100%. Like, I don't give discounts. I do sometimes offer a little party, you know, like little customer specials here and there. But, but y'all, I built a customer Facebook group of 600 women that I, in the, every morning, say good morning with a cup of coffee. And literally 25 of them say good morning back to me. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a prayer group of women that are praying for my grandbaby that I don't have on my personal Facebook page. But these women are praying for me. Like, like my grandbaby, like I've created this community of women who love me and I love them and they love each other. And they're all over the United States. It took me 11 months to create this, but it is magical. Like I look forward to their comments every day. They look forward to hearing from me. Like okay. that, it's, it's mind blowing, which you can create if you choose to. All right. Well, we want to shift gears because we, we are going to have to time out soon, but I want to shift gears to the unit because I know that you wanted to share that. And then everybody yeah. keeps asking me, did you record this? Yes, and I will post it when it is uploaded back on the Facebook uh, back on the Facebook page. So don't worry about that. So Jen, switch the gears now to your um, unit. You got it. Okay, so I had to become duplicatable and get my unit excited to do this, right? Because that that's you can't just. I mean, yeah, you can do all the work yourself, but we want little troops behind us having success too. So um, in October, when Nathan came out with that crazy, you know, hold a million parties challenge, I don't know why I got excited over it, and I said I'm gonna hold 30 parties myself. Okay. That was my own personal goal, but I wanted my unit to do, we wanted to do a hundred together. We ended up doing 89. I held 24. I sold $24,000 and my unit held the rest. So whatever the difference is between 24 and 89, I don't know, but that's how many my unit held. We did, this will help y'all. In July of last year, we did 21,000 wholesale. In August, 28,000 wholesale, I started holding some parties. <laughs> In September, we did 37,000 wholesale. I started picking it up. In, in October, when I um, tell you what I did to get my unit excited, we went to 48,000 wholesale. So from July to October, I more than doubled my wholesale. We went from 21,000 wholesale to 48,000 wholesale in October. Okay, you guys understand the synergy of what I did. Here's what I did in October. I thought to myself, wow. I can't expect my consultants to give $100 away free with no questions asked. Like they can't do that. No, they're not in a position to do that, nor would I recommend or encourage them to do that, right? We're leaders and we get paid on it and they don't. So I thought, what can I do? What can I do? My brain's just, gosh, just what can I do? I said, I can give some blessings away. God has blessed me tremendously with my business, with my bank account, with my paychecks. And I thought, what if instead of giving out wholesale prizes, which really don't motivate people, what if I took money that I'm no longer spending on a studio and giving out little trinket prizes that they really don't want? What if I provided their hostess gift? What if I did something like, 
Every hostess of yours that books for you in March gets hydrogel eye patches from me for free. No questions asked. Back then I was doing the masking pod set because they're out. I think they're discontinued, but I did these one month too. You could pick a charcoal mask. It doesn't matter what you pick. But I now offer for my, my, my consultants, this is what I did, October 1 hit, and I was excited. And I said, I, I had like a call to action meeting, okay? And I said on Zoom, I said, guys, I'm so excited. And I've got something so great that I want to give to you because I love you. And, you know, God's blessed my business. He's blessed me. And I want to share the blessings with you. And that's how I said it. God's blessed me. God's blessed my business. I want to share the blessings with you. So I got a 48-hour challenge for you. In the next 48 hours, all of you, whoever agrees to be on your date book for the month of March, it could be a Zoom party or a Facebook Live party. It doesn't matter to me. They're going to get hydrogel eye patches. They're going to get whatever you want to say, charcoal masks from me for free, no questions asked. They just actually have to hold the party and be on the party, okay? You have 48 hours, and here's the deal. They have to be in your date book for March by tomorrow night at this time, right? Or 48 hours, I give them 48 hour window. And it gets better. The top three consultants with the most parties booked, I will attend one of your parties with you. So all of a sudden, the fear of, oh my gosh, how, what if they don't buy? Oh my gosh, what if no one shows up? What if it's a flop? What if I stink? Was just blown away. And so I want to ask you real quick. If I was to say to you guys, you guys are all here with me. If I was to say to you guys, Nathan, I have a secret. I know a secret that Nathan told me. He didn't tell me, but let's just pretend. I know Nathan told me a secret, okay? <laughs> the company has agreed to give, in the next 48 hours, anybody who gets on your date book, $100 of free Mary Kay, no questions asked. Like anybody on your date book, anybody on your date book, the company's going to pay for it and ship the first $100 to them. Would y'all get booking? I mean, be honest. If Nathan said that and said you, every hostess that, you know, gets on your date book, you would book your heinies off. Okay. Okay. So you just think about that for a minute. <gasps> the company's going to give $100 free for every hostess. I would load my date book up so hard, so fast. It wouldn't even be funny. So that's the energy you're going to give your consultant. You do a short window. And then I told them when you get at least one booking on your date book, I have a gift for you. One booking on your date book. Okay. So guess what their gift was? So everybody who got bookings, their gift was I voiced messaged them. I do everything through PM message. I voice messaged them. Dandy, girl, I am so proud of you and congratulations on getting your first booking. I'm so excited that your aunt's booking for you, girl. That is the best. Guess what? Because you got that one booking, it's a win, one booking, you get to now offer this hostess gift all month long. Bingo. I didn't tell them that up front, y'all. You got the, okay. So here's the thing that happens. Y'all are excited right now. And if I was to say, go get 10 bookings on your date book and I'll do one of your parties with you. Some of you would be like running for it, but most of you'd be like, whatever, I can't get 10 or whatever. But if I said, go get one person, just one, can you find me one girl to get on your date book and I got a gift for you or I'll, I'll be on that party, man, you're going to run like crazy <laughs> because it's the win. You got to get them a win. And so we can talk these big numbers and we can say, you know, do this, get 10 bookings, do all this. They're shut down, make they quit before they even started. Give them a win. So give them a challenge. It doesn't matter what you give. You find whatever you're excited to give. And y'all this month, I'm giving away a Skin Vigorate brush, $75 for every single hostess that hosts a party in the month of March for my unit because I am gonna blow up with blessing women through my people. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Now, are you, Jen, are you shipping these yourself? Or are you Venmoing in the cost of that? Tell me how well, you're- You know what I do, which is really good, is that because it's the administrative side that gives me a headache, not the cost. I have my consultant send me a prepaid pirate ship label. So only because administrative wise, it's a challenging for me to balance all these addresses and names. So she just sends me, I give her, I give her the, whatever it is. It's like, I don't know, this is like four bucks to mail. I give her the dimensions of the package. She sends me a prepaid pirate ship label because I just want her information. I print it out and stick it on and mail it out. Print it out, stick it on and mail it out. Print it out. I mean, as nationals, y'all get free shipping. So I would just be shipping it for free. That's a perk for me when I get there all of us, but for us, we have paper shipping. Um, 
So I just have them do a pirate ship label because it's easier administrative wise for me. So they just have to pay, or they can come pick it up at my door. I have a lot that live local and they'll just say, Jen, drop, can you put, you know, how many on your doorstep? Sure, girl, I will. And they come pick it up. So that is what ignited my consultants to get their date books loaded up with me providing the hostess gift for them. And um, what I do for my consultants, and this is something that people ask me all the time is, well, do they offer the $25 in free product too for every booking? That's their choice. Some do, some don't. But what I do is personally, when I close a party, I allow her to use her $25. I don't make her wait till her friend's party because I need to finish my spiral notebook, check all the dots and move on for my next party. So mentally, I need to move to a blank paper. That's in my brain. That's how my brain works. I, I, I've had people hold their parties. I don't have cancellations. I've had a few, but not many. But I tell my consultants, tell her that the $25 credit will be redeemed at Lori's party, at Susie's party, so that they're not giving her $25 up front before the party holds in case the party cancels. But for me, as a leader, I have not had a problem. I mean, I think in my whole time, I think two parties didn't hold that were supposed to hold, but out of 125, that's not bad. You know what I mean? So that's up to you on how you want to run your business, but I teach my consultants a little differently than I teach you know, I do myself just because we're in a different financial situation with what we get paid on. And so um, that's what I do. So Jen, real quickly, obviously your income has increased by giving out and not worrying about it. And I think that's where sometimes that comes into, but are you picking a different product each month that you're yes. going to do for the hostess? So you're doing this for your unit members each month with a different product. Thing. That's correct. I am. I am. I am doing it for each month for um, a different product. I don't tell them up front what it's going to be until, you know, July 1 or not July 1, until March 1. Um, and I'm happy to provide this hostess gift because even though I'm providing the hostess gift, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. When, when holiday time rolled around in December, it got quiet, you know, and in January, it was like, you know, I was holding a lot of parties. I had a few people hold a lot of parties, but a lot of people weren't holding parties that were holding parties. And I'm like, what happened? Well, momentum died, right? And so I was like, oh, and February was okay. But I was like, I got to shake things up. So that's why I up the ante with the bigger hostess gift because I knew I needed to shake it up. Um, but, you know, we, we, go, we go through seasons in our business and momentum dies if someone's not focused on at least, you know, a goal and a vision of where they're going, you know, holidays happen and things die down. I did take three weeks off for December, but I pre-planned and booked my Heine off in January. So I didn't start January one with nothing, but our consultants don't think like that usually and aren't strategic like that. So I'm recreating, building back up that momentum for parties. Okay, perfect. It says, are you using a posting service app for your parties or personally posting in the group? Yeah, okay. So I personally use Post My Party. There's lots of them out there. I use the same party template. I don't change it because my brain, if I get confused, I will shut down. And um, just know using any third party um, will lower your algorithms tremendously. So I'm going to tell you what I do. And yes, it's work, but embrace the work. It's work that helps you build connections and God blesses that. Remember that every morning and every night I go to all my parties and I will go in and I'll pick one post that's an engagement post and I pull it up. I edit it and I type every single person's name in from that party to tag them, to tag them, to tag them, to tag them. Because if you're not their friend, and I only do one. Don't tag them in all the posts because that's annoying. I just do one. Um, if you are not their friend, they won't necessarily see your Facebook post. I have 4,800 friends. You might post something and you're my friend. I will never see it because you're not on my Facebook algorithm. Facebook chooses that. You don't. And so I also comment. T liking's fantastic. That builds a little bit of algorithm. Commenting builds a lot. Commenting on their personal Facebook builds more. And when you go live, it builds a whole lot. So I strategically make sure that I dedicate time in the morning and at night to do these things because it's part of my job. And one of my offsprings said to me, yeah, but you're like on Facebook, like eight hours a day, Jen, because you do all your business through Facebook. I said, yeah, and it's a job and I work full time. You work for the government. How many hours a day do you put in? And she was like, oh, I get it. I said, I'm glad the light bulb went off. Yeah, I am on Facebook, not solid, eight hours a day. I, I time my, um, like you have a little app. I'm on Facebook eight hours a day, but that's including customer, that's including talking back and forth to people I'm training. I talk to my consultants through Facebook. I do everything through Facebook because that's my vehicle that works for me. And I put in eight hours a day on Facebook, but 
I don't know, last year, I made over, with my sales, $225,000. Drop the mic. Eight hours a day on Facebook? Thank you. Between what the company gave me, my 1099 and my sales, if they showed I ordered, $225,000 in a pandemic, hello. And it's not about money, but I'm just saying to y'all, like, I don't mind putting any hours a day. So you guys get what I'm saying? So to me, that's part of it. Now, you could pay somebody and hire somebody to do that, I'm sure, and just log in as you. But I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like connecting with people, and I connect virtually with people because that's where people are these days. And one of the things I had to get over was I like to be on the phone, and I like to talk and see people. But when people meet you virtually through social media, my daughter helped me with this. She says, Mom, if women wanted to talk to you on the phone, they would call you or ask you for your number. If someone's only messaging you through PM, she doesn't want to talk to you. And I said, but I like to talk to you. It doesn't matter what you like, mom. I would never want to pick up the phone and call you if I didn't know you. And I said, really? Like, that's just foreign to me, right? But the bottom line is, is that you have to meet people, including new consultants. You have to meet people where they're most comfortable, not where you're most comfortable. So I ask choices. I say, Susie, to do your new consultant orientation, would you love to do it over FaceTime or would you like to do it on the phone? What works best for you, Susie? I don't say, Susie, come join my Zoom for new consultant training. Susie may not be comfortable or Susie may be on Zoom all day long at her job and the last thing she wants to do is be all day long with you on Zoom. So I really think I've, I've learned to process my brain to think how that person thinks so that I can mirror and meet her where she's at versus what works best for me and what is convenient for me. Does that make sense to you guys? I hope that helps just a little bit. I just well, asked. Yeah, I know that one of the questions was, I'm sure you're planning on continuing this after COVID, even when we go free. I mean, I'm sure that you're probably going to, or are you going to do go back out? I mean, this well, is obviously. Husband, yeah, my husband and I just talked about this this morning, actually, is that I do believe there is a need for human for human connection and, and being together. I don't think that's that that's just part of who we are. But I believe the virtual world is here to stay. And I believe that that God is using or has used and is using the ugliness of what happened with COVID and being um, quarantined to allow us in the Mary Kay world to reach more, bless more, and to grow bigger and stronger and more powerful and more mighty. So I'm gonna do both because this virtual platform has been the biggest way I've ever been able to reach and bless women in my whole entire Mary Kay career. You know, I have blessed in one year alone with 600 new customers. If I was physically out doing parties, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Does that make sense? So. I'm not, I do believe there's place for both. And I love human contact. I love being in space with people. But again, I, I'm choosing to look at what happened as such a blessing versus being feeling victimized from it. You know, like we can all feel victimized from it. You know, my husband used to be like, oh my gosh, they only allowed to buy one thing of paper towels. And I was like, dude, at least you, we got paper towels. Like be thankful the store had paper towels. Change your mindset, okay? So it's how you think of things. So the minute I hear someone in my family talk like that or my husband say that, my husband came out, this is important for y'all to hear. My husband came out of his office. He's in sales too. He sold data storage to the government and he just got an outside position. So he's really like in sales. And he comes out and he's like, oh, the deal's not going to close in time. I'm going to miss $45,000 or whatever in commission. And I looked at him and I said, zip it. Is the deal going to close? Yes. I said, then be grateful and thankful you have the deal. You keep repeating that to yourself over and over again. Like, oh, the deadline. I missed the deal. Well, psh, what kind of talk is that? And he's like, oh my gosh, you're right. I'm sorry. Go back in his office. You know, like, like, you know, you got to think about it. It's kind of like if something, the party isn't great. It, it's the most amazing party because I got to bless her. Like you've got to change your mindset on whatever adversity is hitting you. When adversity hits you, how can you find something great about that circumstance, that situation? Because y'all, here's the deal. And, I, and I, I don't, I know we're running out of time, but this is really important for me to hone in on you. Really important. Is it I can give you, and you can watch every single party I do. I can give you every tip. You can sit in my office. You can come live in with me for a week. You can see what I do. Unless you change how you handle adversity, obstacles, the way your brain thinks and processes and thinks about things, unless you change your thought process to create a new thought, which is going to take work daily, hourly, every second, to create a new thought process in your brain, it's not going to matter. 
Like it's, it's, if you get anything from me today, I pray it's not how do you hold an amazing Facebook party and fill out a tic-tac-toe sheet and what does a pampering packet look like? I pray that you get hope that it's doable and that you can reprogram your brain and you can shift it and you are amazing and you are enough that God has created you exactly uniquely how you are with your gifts and your talents for you to go out there and be the woman he has chosen and planned for you to be. Not how to have the most amazing Facebook live party. That doesn't matter. Do you guys understand how deep this is and how I could give you anything right now? I would give you what be in the valley on my knees, feeling like I was going to lose my house, my business, my life, that I had failed, how I had to climb up out of that gutter of where my mind was to see the glory on top of it. That's what I want you to have and get from it today. Because that's what's going to take you through and take you far and take you beyond, not how to have a Facebook party. All right. Well, my goodness. <laughs> now we have to pick a time to do this Facebook party. <laughs> um, you know, Jen, you and I can talk this week and then I'll post it on our Facebook page um, and you and I can talk. And I just... Uh, we could go on all day with questions and yes this was recorded i'm going to stop it right now and